So now that we have the camper on the back of the truck, the jacks are off the off the ground, it's time to fasten the camper to, to the truck. We use the fast guns by Torque Lift. Uh, they're a shock absorbing tie down. Uh, it is a requirement of warranty with Northern Light to make sure that you have a shock absorbing tie down. And uh, we have found that these work very, very well. So the process of putting these on is very, very simple. You basically want to hook it in the top here, okay, like that. Hook it in down at the bottom, like so, and then you snap it into place, okay. So there is um, a little O-ring down here at the bottom that gives you a bit of a guide as to how much you're tensioning it. And basically what you want to do is make sure this O-ring is, is flush with here. And then when you tension it down, you should have, it should move approximately a quarter to three eighths of an inch. And, it, and if it moves that much, you know you have it tensioned correctly. So let's just see what we have here with this one right now. So I'm just gonna push this down. And if you look right here, you'll see it moving right there. I'm just gonna flex it a little bit there and it moves and I might have it just a little bit tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna release it. I'm gonna turn this back one revolution, put it back in again, adjust the O-ring so that it's up nice and flush there so I get my measurement and snap this down into place and that's perfect. You can see that measurement right there. I'm just gonna back it off again so you can see that movement. So that's how you know that you have it tensioned correctly. So you wanna do this on all four corners. Um, you have different measurements from here to here as you would on the back. So what works well is on the tie down itself, there's um, little things that say left front, right front, left rear, right rear. And you can just mark them so that way you know which one goes in which position and then you're not, you're not doing a whole lot of adjusting every time you do it. So once it is snapped into place, you take this little locking pin and you put it on there like that. Now that one is set up and ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna do the same back here with this one here. And that one is tensioned properly. I'm gonna put my pin in. I'm gonna go around to the other side. Put it in place. Check my O-ring. That one is perfect. Put that in place. a little bit tight. I'm going to back that off a little bit. And that's really good. So this camper is equipped with swing out brackets. So it is important that you make sure and swing these in now. And it's a simple matter of just pushing up on this little bolt. looks like a a nut on the bottom here. So you just push up on it like that and swing it in, make sure it did and then just clicks into place and that is in. So now that's in the travel position. On some trucks you have to watch the door because as you can see it's kind of close right there but this one is, is set up just perfectly the right distance from the cab and you're ready to go.